well let's just try and make sure that we're having control of the the early object or sorry getting control of the objectives early so we can uh, try and play off this style as uh, Mako I don't think we'll see the Annie um, I imagine Flandre <laughs> oh, actually I'm not sure what he'll head back towards here um, a lot of things taken off the board with the Gwen gone as what? well but, oh <laughs> what okay right it's getting spicy Dagda we've got an Annie locked in is it Annie top what is I mean, it's gotta be right I I don't know what is happening, but I'm excited. I have right. no idea what is any top. Here we go. I'm ready. I mean, maybe maybe it's a strategy one. When you think about it, if you haven't adapted to the patch of time, maybe you just uh, play stuff that isn't good on the patch. Nobody knows how to play against it. Win by default. It's genius. Five <laughs> strat. Burn flashes, make 369 uncomfortable, and maybe continue to set up for some pressure on 369. Because we were saying, hey, look, JDG looked like they played through top. Maybe that's the plan, is to try and shut down 369 early and make sure JDG can't play that style. To see Flandre and 369 already going at it up in that top side of the map. You expect heavy trades in this kind of matchup, especially because Annie will be able to get that shield a little bit later that reflects a little bit of damage from the auto attacks from Chase, so it could be valuable there. But JJ getting invaded by Kanavi. Red versus red. JJ finishes the buff, though. Uh, did he actually see Kanavi? <laughs> I'm not even sure if he dipped in time. Kanavi chasing him underneath the tower. Not willing to let this one go for now. He's happy to go for the 1v1 and does get the big crook. JJ now turning this one into a fight. Knocked up 1v1 between the junglers. Both on duelist scout moving over. JJ low on HP. Trying to escape. Flashes the shock blast. Gets first blood. And now 369 in trouble. Bubble over the wall as well. But it's two for EDG. And Yagao is sent packing. Sure that Kanavi isn't falling too far behind. And I love the confidence from Kanavi to still go for that Scott the and go, you know what? I I've got help from my team. Missing is going to pull. Oh, Mako goes too far underneath the top. Flash forward from LPC to get the 2v2 kill against the best bot lane in the world. Or at least they were. Dragon now. As I'm liking this, you know, I saw JDG versus EDG on the oh, score. I thought, oh, it'll be slow paced. Not at all. This is fast and loose. And Kanavi moves up to the top lane once again. Flandre in trouble. Half HP already. As he gets into his tri brush. The flash forward from 369, but he couldn't actually <laughs> follow up the flash. Ah, it's a bit of a three. It's a bit of a three on the roll on that one. Yeah, it definitely is. But I think this is the biggest worry for Flandre, right? It's all well and good when you're kind of playing this Annie and you're in the 1v1. But as soon as you start to look for potential dives and you've got to overextend without flash, that's where it becomes super messy. Is actually, where are you off to, Scout? He's DP'd back up top lane. They're trying to bait the play. Oh, Scout's waiting in the brush. Flandre pretending to overextend. Kanavi, he's been read like a book. He's been played like a fiddle at EDG. They're just too big brain. It's a duo with his mid laner, so... A little bit of that as he moves towards the bottom side of the map here. Mako and Viper trying to bait it, but they've got Yagao moving over as well. This could be a JDG play as Mako low on HP already, but he's tanky on this Leona. Walks into the brush to keep himself alive, and EDG staying grouped as a cluster. Beautiful team fighting here as JJ goes in to finish them. Viper's there. It's, it's a second for the jungler, and JDG forced away once more. Kanavi, who just a couple of years ago was considered the best jungler in the league, has been just completely out mind game. And I mean, oh, oh yeah, Yagao has actually pulled JJ cool. under the tower, but that might not be the best play against the Lee Sin, who can then kick you. JJ's in trouble though, the shutdown could be available for Kanavi, but he can't follow it up. Oh, it's a bit of a heartbreaker there for Yagao. That was an attempt, that was an attempt, but he just gets himself booted in the face showing any signs of stopping right now and honestly if this is how edg starts the split <laughs> i don't even know what to expect for them going onwards Harold going to be dropped down in this mid lane that'll be a couple more plates going over towards scout three down on this tower Splantry is moving in as well jj looking for a flank yeah Gal could be in trouble the flash tippers is in and jj with his fifth there's a bonus one. Flandre gets a little bit of something, something for his trouble. And EDG just continue to press the accelerator. Because look, you can't actually... Oh, hang on, Mako. A bit of a catch on Mako, but he is tanky. He is playing Leona at the end of the day. Viper moves in, but Viper doesn't have any mana to work with. Missing low on HP. LBC trying to go for a 1v3 at this point, but Mako's oh. made it out. And now Viper can look to finish off LBC. In goes Scout. And just everything JDG tries gets so close and yet so far.
Instead, they've been able to take this Predator Annie, have those flash engages, sneaks get into bushes, use that to their advantage where people think they're safe, but oh. use that information <laughs> against them. We come out of the replay and uh, Yagao's already dead. Uh, I don't think he might want to keep that up as we've got a play going on in the top side as well. Time to move in onto 369. Kanavi is there with him, but it's a 3v2 in favor of EDG, and it's just plenty more easy kills. Scout no longer 100%. That's a small win for JDG, I guess, as Kanavi is going to fall down as well. And it doesn't feel like JDG have anything they can do about this one. And you have to wonder, was this JDG getting read by EDG? Was this just both teams trying to make a play at the same time? But... I mean, EDG just overload the top side of the map and they make it work. Still in form. So you can all laugh at JDG at Twitch chat. But this, this is a new version of their roster. You've got to give them time. But this is the hardest match they could have all year in their first game. They have got to pick up to Mako, though. And the tower elsewhere as well. So a little bit of bonus goal for JJ. Trying to finish some kills here. Kanavi will answer for his crimes and it becomes a one for one. It's a desperation, though, from JDG, because as you can see, you've still got Rift Herald taking oh, that tier no. 2 top side, and they're going for more! There's just nothing left! They just won't stop. JJ is a man possessed. He just will not let them leave. 15 to 2, and look at JJ's score, man. 8, 0, and 6. This is a masterclass. They're just unbelievable right now. And look at the scoreline, right? We're like, you know, play around bot lane, the big brain, Viper, Mako, the 2v2. Oh, well, no. he'll get one for himself here, it looks like. He could flash, but LPC also has his flash available. Actually staying for the 1v1. I'm not sure that was the correct play. Viper finishes him off. And now Flandry in a 1v2, but he just flashes on out and he's safe. Viper is not in the right spot on the map here. <laughs> Going <laughs> underneath the inhib tower. And in the meantime, the rest of EDG is like, you know what? You do you, Viper. We're going to get the drink. So much in EDG's favor right now. The thing is, Dagda, you say, you know, we were expecting a lot from Viper, but he, he is making an impact. He's making an impact on LPC's <laughs> mental at this point. Oh, no, the, the Q went so oh, no. wide. Oh, he still gets the kick, and there's the tippers as well. I'm not sure you needed two ulties for that one, to be quite honest, but, you know, I guess at this point it's just luxury kills, isn't it? Scout going to be uh, very difficult for JDG to deal with. This. Man, I hate, I hate that you can do this. <laughs> like, look how little damage he took. That's a full accelerated shot class from a level two, to a level 12 chase. Oh, he just gets battered back into the rise and finished off. That is just unfortunate for 369. And now a solar flare goes down to the bottom side. Viper finishes off missing and opens the curtains for more. I don't think you'll find much... Is Mako just going to play body block? JJ moving in like a shark hunting through the waters. Dodges the bubble. Not sure if he quite got spotted there. I think he'd be willing to 1v3 this, honestly. Uh, he's pressed his Q in the wrong direction. Not the greatest start to a play, I have to say. It's the second one, though. But he's just going to move over to the rest of his team. They'll finish off the tier 2 tower. They got a tier 2 at the bottom side as well. They'll be happy with that one. So people today. understand the concept, right? It's like, hey, we're going to build Mana Moon 8. Oh, ready to oh. Q. Um, uh, missing? Missing Missing is the type of ping that is required for this situation. That's all that's happening <laughs> here. Scouts found him. Vipers found him. Missing knows it's over. The quickness has been used. And, uh, well, he's going to go down. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. And now a Realm Warp into the Baron Pit. You know what? Why not? Let's have a Purple Worm on top. Oh no! And, and, and you can get the curtain call to oh. clear. They're not even going to get the objective bounty sponge. This is just me. <laughs> oh my days. Well, at least 369 is doing what 369 does best. He's in a side lane and he's hitting a tower. So at least they'll get a tier two for this one. But uh, uh, they yeah, might this, lose is, or... this is brutal. There's no point in talking about win conditions this kind of thing at this point because there are none left for JD. And uh, EDG, it's just a matter of just uh, dotting the I's, crossing the T's, and annihilating what's left of JDG's hopes in this game. Gage coming in the mid lane. Flash forward. Flandre gets him with the Tibbers, and it's JJ to pick up the kill. Shot blast in from the side. And EDG just continue to style on the remains of JDG. Well, looks like we're going to be seeing a few more Annie bands potentially going into our games in LPL as a... Flandre bringing out the new champion, styling on JDG, Nexus turrets under fire, but there is only the kind of minion at the moment. 
Yeah, but there'll be more. There'll be more. Reinforcements are on the way, Doctor. That's one tower going down. Viper Gale forces forward to try and finish off Yagao. And now they engage. Quickness onto the whole team, but kicked away by JJ, who goes in, follows underneath the tower. Huge damage, though. Maybe a fight. The JTG? No, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Kanafi's going to be hit by the full shot. The Whoa! whole team's <laughs> onto the fountain. Oh, they and they've been annihilated. <laughs> 369 making the paycheck with it. He gets a double kill. Oh, dear. EDG. They don't want to end it just yet. They're having a bit of fun. I love the way Viper is just like, what are you doing, lads? There's objective penalties. They get going back, but... I mean, even with all that, they still can't catch Scout or Viper. They would have loved that massive shutdown. Oh, but EDG, take two, should be a little bit more successful. There's no Realm War for Scout. <laughs> Alright, I'm ready for another I'm ready for them to just wait for the cooldown. In they go. It's going to be Kadavi trying to start the fight off, but the rest of the team not so interested. Quickness on the back line. In goes LPC. Is Viper going to go down? That's an AD carry kill for JDG. I mean, it doesn't matter, but hey, that's twice now LPC's killed the enemy bot lane, so thumbs up for LPC and missing. I like what I'm seeing out of the bottom lane. It may oh not no, be they're going win. again. Oh, they're doing it again. <laughs> They just have no chill! EDG, these guys have families! Come on! The Nexus will fall 29 to 9. EDG are back, baby! And we were talking about the redemption arc potential for 369, and it's shut down by an Addy. EDG come through and dismantle JDG. I. I don't even know how you start to look at a game two after that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure there are 